Crime Victims Rights Week is recognized across the nation, but one local organization works for victims year round. We're joined now by Wanda Miller, the executive director for Vocal. And for those who may not know, can you tell us what Vocal is and the work that you do? Vocal stands for Victims of Crime and Leniency, and uh, since 1982, Vocal's been advocating for victims, crime victims across the state. Tell us how Vocal got its start. Vocal started out of a tragedy. Uh, Miriam Sheehan uh, is one of our founders, and uh, Miriam's daughter, Quinette, was murdered in Birmingham. She was a Birmingham Southern student and was kidnapped and murdered. And what Miriam found going through the system and through, through everything that surrounds a crime victim survivors uh, and their families, uh, she saw that there were just inadequacies in the system that needed to be corrected. So she gathered other people who had been through like it's life experiences like hers, and they started Vocal. Why are you passionate about this? I'm also a crime victim, and I uh, have had lo lost a, a cousin of mine to a homicide. And so when I was a victim in 1983 and met the people at Vocal, and have been part of that organization since, and just took over in March as executive director. So it's kind of full circle. Over I feel like I'm 40 years home. you've been connected yes, to, yes. to Vocal. What yeah. did it mean to you as a victim of crime to be able to have this resource to reach out and support you? You know, what I found early on when I met the people at Vocal in, in Birmingham, I found that I, I felt at home. I felt like I was with people who understood what I was going through, what I was feeling, and, and could help guide me through a, through a system I knew nothing about. They knew what you were feeling and exactly. what you would have to face through exactly. that system. What is the theme this year for this week? How can you help? And what a great theme that is because what we're asking people is there's so many ways that people can help people in the community, but even just getting down to basic things, how you, how you talk to victims, not to forget victims. You know, so often it, it seems like victims are just looked at as like collateral damage of a criminal act, and they're not. You know, we go to these, these events during this week and we see these families and we see, you know, the pictures of victims and we hear the stories. And that's so important not to, not to forget those people and what they've gone through and how their lives are changed. We heard the Attorney General talk about earlier today that y'all are going to have a special yeah. event here yeah. in downtown Montgomery later this week. Mm -hmm. What's happening? We have our uh, state candlelight vigil in front of the Attorney General's office every year. It's going to be on Friday night, the 26th. Uh, we're going to start at 6 o'clock. We've invited some local partners to come and join us and share their agency information like the Family Justice Center and Pardon and Paroles and the Attorney General's Office and Alabama Crime Victims Compensation so that, our, so that victims can meet them also. But then we'll have our program and we'll have a memorial service for crime victims who've lost, lost their lives. This is outside the Attorney General's Office. Yes. It's right in front of the state capitol. And if yes. you come through this area this week, you've seen all those white crosses right. out there on the right. lawn, a way to remember the victims yeah. Yeah. of violent crime. There are many who feel that crime has skyrocketed oh, yeah. in our communities lately. How can we help in this mission to, to keep there from being many more victims of crime? Well, I think that, you know, just understanding what crime victims are dealing with and recognizing them, hearing their voices, and and it's it's so easy to, to turn your back and say, that's not affecting me, but crime affects all of us, everyone in our community. I know you were talking about the, the recent crime here in Montgomery with the young lady, Amy. That affected everyone that drives down a highway in Montgomery because I, I heard so many people say, I was just on that highway. You know, that could have been me. Yes, it could. So we all have to be aware of crime and what it's doing to our community, what it's doing to our neighbors and families and friends. It does affect us all. Yes, it does. Wanda, yes. thank you so much for joining us thank on Alabama Live. We appreciate it. Appreciate you.